Now, okay, let's let's zoom out quickly. I mean, to to, to mobility and transportation in general um, in in Metro Manila. I mean, so far you've seen. Um, not just the works in Ortigas, you've seen uh, uh, plans going on all over the metro. How is it going um, in terms of our investment in our mass, uh, mass transportation uh, systems? I, so far, so good, all headed in the right direction, you think? Yeah, so let me give a, a quick uh, assessment, Robbie. And uh, this, in a way, is also an outcome of the pandemic. Uh, as a result of the pandemic, we have actually uh, observed like a shrinking of our public transport supply. Why? Many, uh, many bus operators and uh, also some jeepney operators, a lot of jeepney operators have gone out of business, partly because of the, the difficulties during the pandemic and are having... Uh, problems now bringing their vehicles back into operation. And this reduction in our public transport supply is why uh, we are also observing today many uh, long, long queues in our public transport terminals uh, for MRT3 and the EDSA busway. The queues are very long. So there is a very visible shortage in our public transport supply. And this is something that needs to be addressed, especially as we uh, anticipate, you know, more people going out when face-to-face uh, -face classes uh, resume 100 percent in November. So this is one of the things we really need to look out for and the government needs to focus on. How can we bring in more supply to address the, the current demand? But sir, let me toss that back to you. Uh, how do you think we should address that, that problem? Well, you know, uh, we, we have been uh, uh, also communicating many of our recommendations as the MOVAS-1 uh, coalition mm. to the Department of Transportation and LTFRB. So uh, a big part has to do with bringing back uh, whatever supply was already uh, authorized in the past. Yeah. Uh, during the pandemic, many routes were uh, were shut down. We would like to see many these routes now restored because uh, as much capacity as we can, we need to bring out right away. And that's really our buses, jeepneys, UV Express. Uh, second is we need to also have uh, realistic fare adjustments. And already we've seen some movement in that direction. I think we need to continue to observe uh, how the uh, fuel prices move and to make sure our uh, public transport operators are able to recover their operating costs. Because if, if they are going to suffer losses, then yeah. they will yeah. also pull back and not operate. 